I'm converting this Z uh, 4.6 K2 uh, mountain bike uh, to electric drive. This uh, is the battery case I'm going to use to mount the, the lithium ion batteries. It's made out of a uh, coroplast, which is a pretty stiff uh, corrugated uh, plastic material. Um, so I held it onto the fr the central spine. I held it onto the frame with um, UV stabilized uh, tie wraps. It's also, uh, you know, held into the, the water bottle uh, uh, threaded holes in uh, three spots. And, you know, I have these rubber, pieces of rubber uh, insulators to keep, uh, you know, any conductive surfaces away from the batteries. There are some exposed uh, uh, nail heads here on the, in the corners that I'm going to... I'm going to seal all this edge with uh, weather stripping so those will, will also not be exposed to the battery. Uh, and there's also a small uh, L bracket here to support you know the battery weight and you know the batteries are going to be resting pretty much on on this tube here and on this L bracket here which is tied into the frame. Uh, I also used the rubber to isolate the the the, pla the cable ties from um, uh, the frame so it wouldn't get scratched uh, what other details uh, so yeah, yes this is the back cover there's another cover just like it you know on this side and it's gonna be held by these uh, four four inch long uh, bolts with a washer on each side and uh, and a lock nut a plastic uh, a night lock nut I believe they're called so that you know I can hold them without a lot of torque should be should be a, uh, able to you know hold torque without backing out without having to uh, compress the, the plastic too much so what I did to add stiffness in this direction is I uh, you know I have three nails that basically go through the corrugations the central nail has been uh, uh, trimmed on both ends you know, with a Dremel tool to serve as a you know st a stiff point for this tie wrap uh, or pl a cable tie to uh, to tie to, and then the other two nails uh, basically provide uh, some resistance uh, to the side, so this uh, cable tie can't slide forward or backward. And I'm also you know bolting the um, the side covers near where these nails are, so it'll also be uh, pretty stiff in this direction. You can see what the what the cover looks like on on this side here, and it'll look the same on the other side when I put that cover on. So the covers will add some additional stiffness. You know, I did uh, run the corrugations uh, in this direction to add a uh, vertical stiffness, and then there's a, a seat post mounted a rack here in the back for any. Uh, you know, motor controllers or related electronics that need to be mounted outside of the outside of the battery case. And I'm using a a hub a, a hub motor, and I'm still contemplating whether to go with a 48 volt or a 72 volt uh, battery pack. I'm I'm going to see. Uh, there's an online simulator for different uh, motor battery controller configurations, and seeing what amp hour capacity I need on a 72 volt pack to equal a 48 volt uh, 20 amp hour pack but anyway that's uh, that's the battery pack uh, case detail and I'll tweak the design as needed if I start seeing some uh, some flaws in it I have taken it off-road with uh, you know with the the case mounted empty and there was really no issues uh, but I like this platform uh, or this bike because it's uh, it's got a a lot of front suspension travel four inches, you know, which is pretty pretty decent, and disc brakes, which is important with uh, the higher speeds you you attain with a with an electric uh, conversion bike, and the fact that it has an o open frame. I didn't go with a full suspension bike because I wanted to be able to mount the battery pack uh, in the triangle in the frame um, to keep the the weight lower, you know, versus mounting the the battery pack up way up here, uh, the center of gravity being lower should add, add some stability. Although maybe slightly less traction to the rear tire because the weight is not right over the rear tire. Uh, 
but anyhow, that's uh, where I'm at now with uh, my electric bike uh, conversion project.